Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Gentle Reminder. Stories that touches your heart. Once upon a time there lived a king in southern India named Sri Ramacharya. He was very curious to know about his village. One day he called out a group of courtiers and said, "Go and find how many people of my village are and bring the person who knows about the secret of war but one condition any person you meet he should not know that i sent you the courtiers didn't understand the king and they walked away the courtiers thought about what to do the whole night each of them got a plan and they said to each other but all the members like the plan of ragu a clever person among the other courtiers and they all agreed to do it the very next day they all dressed as tribal and they arranged a bullock cart with them and they went around first they saw a woodcutter who was cutting down trees they went to him and said do you like this job sir the woodcutter replied no i do it because this work comes from our ancestors so i was forced by my parents to do this job the courtier said goodbye to the woodcutter and walked away while traveling further the courtier saw an angry washerman and they decided to talk to him one of them asked hello sir we come from east india and we are new to this place we have come to visit our friend ram who lives here somewhere nearby could you please tell us his address the washerman said are you mad can't you see what i'm doing i'm doing an idiotic job the courier asked him sir do you like this job the washerman continued angrily no when i was small i did not show much interest in studies and i never listened to my parents so i became a washerman as i should look after my family and earn a living to feed them i do this job the courtiers apologized for disturbing and went away then they made up their minds to leave the job and send a message to the king that no one in the village knows about the secret of work then suddenly they saw a small hut with five candles and three lamps and a man studying a science book and one of them said that it was a school they went inside and asked the lecturer the same question the lecturer replied i love this job and it gives me satisfaction and happiness teaching so many uneducated children hearing this the courtiers took the lecturer to the king and the king appreciated him for knowing the secret of work and soon he became the best teacher in the village and was given an award as soon a big school was built moral any work you do does not matter but you have to do it with some interest in that if you want to achieve greater heights believe in yourself and then you can know that work is worship indeed now we're going to go to the next one a mother and a baby camel were lying around under a tree then a baby camel asked why do camels have lumps the mother camel considered this and said we are desert animals so we have the humps to store water so we can survive with very little water as well the baby camel thought for a moment and this okay why are our legs long and our feet rounded the mama replied they were meant for walking in the desert the baby paused after a beat the camel asked why are our eyelashes long Sometimes they get in my way. The mama responded. 
to whose long thick eyelashes protect her eyes from the desert sand when it blows in the wind. The baby thought and thought, then he said, I see you. So the hump is to store water when we are in the desert. The legs are for walking through the desert and eyelashes protect my eyes from the desert. Then why are we in the zoo? I'm sure it really just stops you for a moment. That's what happened with me. The lesson of the story is skills and abilities are only useful if you are in a right place at the right time. Otherwise, they go to waste. So please know your value, know your place, know your opportunities and work for that, work with that. And you will be able to find right work according to your choice as well as you would know your true worth along with the world. Thank you so much for listening to this everyone. This is Bhaskar Yogacharya signing off.